date, I think. Holy Bails. shit, we're going to <laughs> Okay, bye, bye boyfriend. First thing I see, a freaking gem in my opinion. Something interesting about Florida thrift stores is that the sweaters and the shirts are all together, which is like my favorite and my least favorite sections tied together. Are you gonna do the honor of going through all the t-shirts for me? Oh. We love this. So if you guys watched that, I didn't pack anything in my suitcase video, you would know that I was struggling to find jeans and I have yet to find a pair of jeans on this whole entire trip. It's been about two weeks, so. <sighs> Pray for me. Bam, that'll do. Okay, so it looks like I was wrong. There are sweatshirts here, which I'm about to hit hard. Was that a workout? Yeah, my left arm is dead. I see why people don't go through the sweaters here because you go through like three of them and you start schwitzing hardcore. greasy too. I haven't done like a brand heavy thrift haul like this in a minute and you guys are about to see that America America comes through with the brands the champion the Nike there's also like a huge eagle ah! shout out American Eagle over there that looks like it could eat me but thankfully I'm screened in so we're not gonna worry about that for now. Did a video where I came to Florida with an empty suitcase and thrifted everything that I needed to wear for the past two weeks so That'll be up in the cards, but I still don't have room, and I decided to give away some of these items to you guys. So make sure you look out for this little thing pop up on the screen for one of those giveaway items. All the details are gonna be down in the description box. So my boyfriend was tackling the t-shirts while I was going through the hoodies. We actually only hit that portion of the store because we didn't have the most time in the world, but that was totally okay because I don't know how I would have survived going through all the women's stuff. We'll save that for another trip. The first thing that he grabbed for me was this Boston Celtics champion t-shirt. I figured, you know what, I'm not from Boston, but my birthday is the day before St. Patty's Day and I never have anything to wear, so this could, this could be a good option. This is gonna be the first giveaway item because we actually found two of these Nike t-shirts that look like they're from the early 2000s. It's nice and washed, it's super cozy. This one's in a double XL, but honestly, I'm gonna say it's more of an XL type of fit. I specifically really like the back. I think it's super cool, it's slouchy. I'm gonna keep one, I'm gonna give you guys one, and we're gonna be twinning. I picked up this little lavender polo with the contrasting polo dude. You guys know I love my polo man and I just love a good lavender item. Definite brownie points for my boyfriend for finding this. Like this would have been swooped up so quickly if it was in a Canadian thrift store. It's the old champion logo t-shirt. This one's in a double XL. Sometimes I sell to guys too when we do our pop-ups, so everyone is a big fan of the NFL merch. This is just the Miami Dolphins, cause you know, when in Rome. Mixing in one sweater, I didn't really get a chance to look through that section. Things are all mixed up all over the place in American thrift stores. Kinda love it, kinda hate it. Very mixed feelings about it. But this color to me is like my favorite. It screams Florida and it's a Cadillac sweater, which I just thought was so cute and unique. I would never come across something like this at home. And ding, ding, ding. We have another giveaway item here. This Tommy t-shirt I just think is so cool. I didn't actually find the most Tommy at this store, but when I see him, I gotta pick him up. This one's in a size large for you guys, and this material is very easily croppable, so if you are not a large and you still wanna enter to win this, I highly recommend. I just love the fit of this. I love a good red t-shirt too, contrasting with like some light wash mom jeans. So this is gonna be a personal collection item. It was actually the first item that I found and it is this Juicy Couture green tie-dye moment, which I'm pretty sure Reformation is selling a t-shirt like this for $80. This is everything that I'm into right now. It's so soft too. I just wanna, I'm probably gonna sleep in this and wear it to the airport tomorrow. Guys, the t-shirt's like, <laughs> I can't believe this. This was like the best 20 minutes of my entire life. 
Next up, we have this Nantucket t-shirt, which looks like it is straight out of Brandy Melville, but it's not. I picked up this white little Tommy t-shirt, which just has the pocket. I've been looking for just a plain white t-shirt like this because they're super hard to come by. Generally in thrift stores, white things are coffee stains, BO stains. I don't even know how that happens, but they're generally disgusting. But I found like a plethora of cleanish ish white things, so I had to grab them. I also saw this CC competition clutch t-shirt, which is just like the perfect worn in style of mini t-shirt. Mini, but oversized, does that make sense? I don't know. And then here we have that little matching number, which is the one I'm gonna be keeping. It's got the neon swoosh and then the back to match. So yeah, if you win that, definitely, definitely give me a tag. Tag me on Instagram. Tag thrifted this on Instagram, everyone. Thrifted this. If you don't know, now you know. Another personal collection item, we have this Kobe Bryant Lakers tee. He was my favorite player back in the day. If y'all didn't know, I am a baller. It's all in the name and in my chain, which I, whoa, I just kind of spit bars there, but I'm not gonna pull out my necklace because I think this thing, that won't, I just don't want to mess that up. A last personal collection item for the t-shirts is this Nike box logo t-shirt. These are so good to come by because they're so worn in and cozy and just like the perfect amount of oversized and I love the logos on them. So if you're wondering why I look kind of greasy right now, it's because I just tried on all of these hoodies and sweaters, which I'm about to share with you. It was all well worth it because at home, these get scooped up so quick. I find with Florida thrift stores, it's either hit or mega miss when it comes to hoodies. We have this champion crew neck, which is in this gray that I am clearly so obsessed with, which is kind of weird because it's like the most boring gray ever, but somehow, it just works. This one is kind of brandless. It's actually so old that the tag has washed away. But um, yeah, again, a very Brandy Melville-esque item. Sorry that I say that so much, but it's just so true. Like Brandy Melville is just trying to replicate the thrift store. We have a random long sleeve item, because again, these things were just kind of mixed into the sections that I was looking in. It is a ribbed button up Henley. I feel like this is a good brand, Carlton Jones. I really like the way that these fit. It's super easy to just tuck in for the winter time when you're feeling lazy, but you don't want to wear a hoodie. Great alternative. Another giveaway item. We have this champion George Washington University. I love a navy crew neck, probably just as much as I love a gray one, because again, it looks really great with a light wash pair of denim so this one is in a medium for those of you curious on entering sadly i was gonna keep this one for myself but it does not fit so we have a back-to-back -back giveaway situation and this is just a super cute and cozy nike athletics red washed away logo hoodie you guys can see it there this one for size reference because it was a little small on me oh it's a child sweater 10 to 12 that's why it didn't fit me feeling a little bit better about myself. This will definitely fit you if you're like around an extra small to a smaller side of a small. And since I'm gonna be heading back to the North Pole tomorrow, <laughs> I saw this and I was like, you know what? I should probably prepare for the um, treacherous eight months that are ahead of me. And if you guys also saw my 10 things you can thrift for fall slash winter, I mentioned how flannel jackets are like a huge thing at the thrift store that you can always come by. I think that like these flannels are super in now versus like the Tumblr 2012 flannels bad times. We have two last items. We have a champion hoodie, which is super oversized and navy. I actually don't have a navy hoodie, so I'm going to be keeping this one. Something about navy and red, the contrast, I just love it. And lastly, you guys, I didn't really get to look through pants or anything like that, as you could probably already tell, but my goal of this trip was to find a pair of jeans. And honestly, I thought it would be a lot easier because I challenged myself to not bring any denim, no denim shorts, no denim pants, no jeans. And it took me until like one of the very last days for me to come across the perfect pair. So I saw these Wranglers in like my dream wash. I picked them up and I didn't want to try them on until we got home, we washed them. And I told my boyfriend last night, I was like, these are either going to be a dream fit or a total flop. And you guys will see, I am obsessed with them. They are my first Wrangler pair of denim. It's it's a freaking match made in heaven, so I am very grateful that I came across these. Um, they're gonna come in much use when I head back to Canada tomorrow because there's no rips in them. And you guys might think that sounds a little crazy, but when you have like the tiniest slit in your jeans in the winter, frostbite. Frostbite is coming for you. These were a ultimate score. That is it. That's all, that's just, that's just it for the little that's tiny 
they're tall. Don't forget to check out the rules for the giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope I can do more of these types of giveaway hauls in the near future. Thank you all for watching and thank you for subscribing and get excited because I'm going to be doing a ton of thrifting videos leading up to Christmas. Thriftmas is coming your way. So I will see you guys all in the next one. Mwah! Ta-ta! <laughs> Date, I think. Holy Fail. shit, we're going to <laughs>